What's going on there, folks? Good evening. Once again, it is the Earth Master back here. Uh, on this end of the weekend, it is Sunday, December 17th, 2023, about 9.03 9 p.m. California time here. Uh, latest activity shows some movement up here in Illinois, uh, near uh, Waltonville, Illinois, 3.1 coming in here. Within the last hour, about 16 kilometers deep or so. Not too often do we see some uh, uh, earthquake activity up here, but it looks like a little bit of movement uh, stirring up here tonight near the Mount Vernon area of Illinois. Quite a few folks uh, reporting some uh, shaking going on there in their environment. Um, and that is uh, well north, obviously well north of the... Um, the new Madrid seismic zone, but occasionally we do see some earthquake activity up there. It is in the hazard zone north of the new Madrid seismic zone. So just a little bit of activity stirring up here tonight um, in that area of Illinois. All right, back and out of here. Let's see what, what else we got here. Uh, chiming in on the Vancouver region, or at least north here into the uh, British Columbia area, they did see a 4.6 coming up here earlier this evening in the mountain ranges up here, about 14 kilometers deep uh, into this area of British Columbia. And now, well, it's not a big earthquake, but it uh, kind of goes along with, uh, with uh, the notion here that the Cascadia subduction zone, which sits just offshore here, of uh, the uh, the Canada region is somewhat active, northern in as well. Of course, the Cascadia sits here, just off the coast of Vancouver, extending well down into the uh, Pacific Northwest in the Northern California. So this area uh, showing a little bit of seismic activity here lately. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, of course, we've been watching this area somewhat closely because. Well, it's been popping off some earthquake activity here recently. Uh, a look at the Yellowstone overview does show um, some seismic activity here in the northwest corner of the park. Uh, aside from that, looking at generally uh, smaller earthquake activity here across the region. Not for sure what this movement is down here. Looks like some type of environmental uh, noise going on there across the old faithful area it could be geyser activity uh, that's stirring up down there with a uh, temporary uh, adjustment there in the station but aside from that um, the earthquake activity that we've seen late last night has dwindled out not a whole lot of movement there to report across the area for now uh, once again there's that earthquake out in illinois uh, the rest of California here, somewhat minor activity. One earthquake north of Redding. Uh, not seeing anything major going on. It's about 2.1 there, 21 kilometers deep. Uh, further down south, it's about the same. No major movement going on there across the area. And as you go into Hawaii here, uh, looking at uh, mainly smaller microquake activity there across the Big Island. Really not seeing anything major going on there. Uh, and we're going to double check the uh, the uh, um, inflation chart map here tonight. Just double check, see what's going on here across the Kilauea Volcano for ver uh, verification purposes because this area has been, uh, well, it's been showing some downtrend, uptrend and whatnot here over the last couple days. Um, that's a UWE station, but... Uh, uh, hold on a second here. It looks a little odd. It's way off. It's way off from what I remember it earlier. So UWE. That uh, that seismograph station looks a little odd compared to uh, the last chart I showed you guys. But notice the uh, microad um, measurement out here. It has dwindled down. So what they did was they dropped the measurement down here to show um, further amplification here across the area in the last two days. Uh, before uh, this was elevated here, we, we showed a little bit more sensitivity out there in the uh, measurement, but uh, that's why it looks a little bit different here right now.
but the 30 day tilt that is not changed and that shows us that we're still elevated or at least still elevated but measuring out off here uh, as far as the inflation activity goes not any we're not really looking at any major inflation activity here um, above the previous level but we're just kind of measured out evenly there across the area of the uh, Kilauea Summit region so no doubt we'll continue to monitor and uh, check back on that activity. The uh, space weather activity here over the last 24 hours has been uh, kind of an all uh, kind of an oddball type of uh, event here. Uh, last night, obviously, we did see some elevated movement here across the polar regions with the KP index reaching around the five and a half level here on the chart. Uh, and that stirred up a pretty much a G1 class storm. Not really looking at anything major going on right now in terms of the solar weather uptick. Uh, the solar flare activity has been diminished with a, uh, well, 99% chance for a C flare, M flare at 25, and the X flare chart uh, remaining somewhat lower at about 5% chance. So uh, there's really no. Uh, significant sunspots out here that pose any major hazards out here obviously there's quite a bit of few uh you know quite a bit of sunspots out here but nothing that uh harbors any significant threat uh kind of watching this area down here on the southeastern limb there's a little bit of close proximity uh within that core we'll continue to monitor the uh, rest of the activity there on the eastern limb and see what happens um, as far as the weather activity goes out here, well, a pretty big low pressure system. Obviously, the folks know about it <laughs> in the uh, eastern seaboard. If you don't know about it, then uh, I, I don't know what's going on. Because if you guys are out there, you're noticing a lot of wind, a lot of rain stirring up out there across the area. It's not a hurricane. It's a, it's a rather unusual low pressure system out there. Uh, stirring up quite a bit of uh, uh, pressure differences in that area. Out here in the West Coast, well, we uh, picked up a little bit of a uh, rainfall tonight, about half an inch or so. We're expecting more throughout the evening. And after that, a uh, couple of days or so into the future, uh, looks like some significant rainfall totals out there across the West Coast. And we'll continue, on, uh, continue to monitor uh, that activity as it stirs up out here along the west coast uh, but for now you know there's really no major activity there's a 4.1 off the uh kind of an odd area here where you look at new zealand uh, new Z what what did they call this region here it's the area of this continent out here uh new zealand um if you were to lower the uh the oceanic uh, levels out here you would see this continent, New, Ze uh, New Zealand, yeah? I, I can't remember what they call it, but uh, it is a elevated landmass out here, and you can see it here on the globe, obviously. Uh, we got a 4.1 off the coast of North Island area within this area of uh, that aforementioned region. You know, it's... it's uh, we're kind of living in times right now where uh, obviously the ocean levels are and they're somewhat somewhat minimal. But if you think about it, if things were to dry up out here in terms of the ocean water, this elevated movement out here in New Zealand, uh, we would see a new continent forming out here. Uh, obviously off the coast here, the East Island, New Zealand, very shallow waters offshore. Um, and I, I'm sure a lot more stuff would be going on <laughs> for sure out here. Um, 4.6 off the, uh, Iceland area. Let's just uh, kind of want to jump in here real quick. See what we got going on up in Iceland. There's not a huge amount of earthquake, uh, elevated activity here, mainly smaller microquake uh, activity across New Zealand for now, but we'll continue to watch that. I'm going to jump off here, folks. I'm, I'm pretty tired. Been out here barbecuing a brisket since about 10 o'clock this morning. And I still have probably uh, 
probably have about another hour or two to go for the brisket before it's done. So I, uh, I still need to stay awake for that, but I'm, I'm pretty tired. <laughs> I got to make sure I get the uh, meat off the grill. And um, for now, the uh, seismograph stations out here look pretty quiet. Not a whole lot of stirring up going on out here across the region. We will catch you guys back here tomorrow. Tomorrow's Monday. It's a new day. Uh, a new day for uh, seismic activity, obviously. And uh, we'll continue to watch what's going on out here across the globe. We'll catch you guys back out here then. Have a good one.